All right, so we're back with Hold My Hand from Does P2K and Laser Catcher still being Laser Catcher right there. So, um, when we left this yesterday, we had just got over to here with a light bridge like this. Now, one of the questions I raised at the time was... Is it important for us? Is it important for us to keep this here? I, I can only assume we need to walk through this section here. Because there is a whole area there that we can walk through and do different bits and pieces. And once we get over there, I'm not really sure what else there is to do, so now I'm going to move the portal and we're just going to walk back over to here just for now so my first instinct would be is it possible to respawn the blue cube which is a laser catcher to there. Now, I don't think it is possible at the moment. What else is not possible is the ability to move these cubes. Not what I meant at all. What's not possible is the ability to hit a laser cube. So this seems like quite a big development here and I don't really want to lose this if I can help it. But now the only way to use the laser would be to do what? It's about keeping the laser though, is it? It's about keeping a portal on this side with the light bridge in place. The other thing we've got to sort of consider here, it's alright saying I need to respawn the blue cube, but without having I'm crazy. Hope you're well, buddy. Welcome on. I wonder if I can just use this faith plate for anything else. Like, is there another... Is there another location? I 
Oh, hold on. Um, I could potentially... If I could find a way... To get the red cube... If I could find a way to get the red cube, I could potentially be done. Because effectively, I can get the red cube, put it above the faith plate, and then stand on this button and do that. What that would do is drop the red cube, the red cube would fling through there, and then i just go and put it there to get to the exit. Okay. However, I'm not working on a map as such, I'm just playing around with some ideas, crazy. I've been trying to make a map for longer than I'd possibly care to remember. And... Let me think a minute. Yeah, I've been trying to work... I've been trying to come up with, like, a hammer map for longer than I can remember, and I've just kind of... At the minute, I've kind of resided myself to, instead of making a map as such, like a, a puzzle as such, and just want to try and make something in Hammer, so I'm just kind of just playing around, making some, like, BTS sort of areas. I've got nearly 400 hours, exp I've got nearly 400 hours on the clock in Hammer, and I've got nothing to show for those 1400 hours, uh, 400 hours, sorry. So... Yeah, I would really like to be able to get something place, something done and, you know, something I can actually showcase and be proud of. Whether it's a puzzle or whether it's just like an experience or something. So, uh, Nintendo World gave me the idea recently, I should put down here to see what I can do from here. I don't think I can do anything, but... Uh, Nintendo World gave me an I the idea recently, he um, put out a video of like this... Um, kind of destroyed office kind of area that he was working on. And I thought it would be a pretty cool idea to do something along uh, on the same sort of lines. So yeah, that's what I'm. So yeah, this isn't going to help. This is going to help me. So we got to where we did after yesterday's stream, and now I've hit a bit of a roadblock. I think. Not sure. How I proceed from here, I mean. I just feel like I desperately need to get rid of this. What is actually over here? It's just an area where I can go back to. I think I've got the right idea for the exit. Interestingly though, I wonder what the... There was something in the description about the reset button, wasn't there? I wonder what condition that actually appears. Oh, if a cube sitting on the button near the red dropper. Okay. Well, that's half my problem in differential, I'll be honest. Um, I kind of want to make something following, like, standards, but I'm not sure of the standards that they should be. So then I kind of get a little bit nervous of actually publishing anything myself. So, yeah, it's... 
it's difficult. Kind of, I don't want to. I, I don't want to be that guy who puts something out and. Whilst I like feedback and praise, I don't want to like people. As my my kind of my kind of view on it is that if you're using Hammer to make a map, then you should take the time to kind of properly understand how everything works, etc. And yeah, that's definitely going to be the exit move. I'm just waffling. But yeah, that's the whole reason why I am yet to publish anything that I've made in Hammer. Because I'm just not confident enough that I've done the right things. That it looks right. I've followed the right sort of guidelines and stuff. But, you know, maybe that's just my own self-confidence in that department. I've done this, but I don't see how I can do anything else without losing portals now. You do? Well, I'm glad I'm not on my own, that's for sure. I'm just going back over here now. Now I could cause that to respawn. So maybe I want to move this cube now. I think like I my initial goal with my like making a map in Hammer was I was I wanted to remake my original map. Like my very first map which was was really a load of crud, uh, load of crud. But I just wanted to remake that map because it was the first thing I did. I thought it'd be really, really simple to do and it would be a good sort of starter. Um, however, saying that, I restarted the project like four times. And each time, like, the, my hammer work was getting better and better, but each time I just sort of still felt like it wasn't quite polished enough. Um, so, yeah, it just completely put me off. Like doing anything else. So that's just that's just terrible. Oh, we are back to the start. Maybe, however, maybe what I should have done there in maybe I should point that to there. I was trying to think of what I need to do. I need to respawn that cube. That's why the red cube was there. Is there anywhere else I can sit the red cube for it to get respawned? So yeah, that's that's what I was doing anyway earlier on in Hammer. Um, I often get the odd bit of inspiration, and I think, yeah, let's do something, and then I don't end up doing anything. Bit like this map at the moment.
way. I don't want to talk to people on the phone. Who wants to talk to people? Yep. Okay, so that the, the fact that the catcher isn't there completely breaks the puzzle. So that should have opened that fizzler, and then I would have been able to put that. Thought it was just like an invisibility thing, but I guess not. I guess not. Hey, space kitten, and Mike. What's going on? But yeah, I mean, it's. I, I think that's part and parcel of like the evolution of wanting to do better, isn't it? You you make better maps, and um, you want to spend more time on maps. But like Fumbly says, you know, you kind of start. My my biggest thing is like I start off and then I like I'll pick a, I'll pick a style, for instance. Let's say I pick. Um, it's the worst one to, to go for, but let's say I pick like um, clean or something. But then I'm like, well, does, is this used in clean? Can I use, is, is this allowed in clean? If I use this, are people going to say, oh my god, he's he's he shouldn't be using that in that? And that's sort of like where the the self consciousness sort of comes in for me, at least. Um, but. You know, it, it's all it all it's all div experience at the end of the day, isn't it? Isotope was the easiest thing you've played. Did, was you watching my walkthrough at the time? So. Yeah, this is what I did. Ah, okay. This is that. That'll do that. Just trying to think how we did this before. I'm sure we did like this and pointed that in this direction, didn't we? Then we have to go and reset this. Yeah, I mean, if you've got, if you've got like a vision of something that you're doing, like that doesn't follow a style as such, then that's completely fine. I feel because you know you are developing your own style, but I'm not that creative in making my own style per se. So that's where, for me, I kind of want to follow style guides and I want to follow like the proper guidelines and stuff. Yeah, the laser catch disappears while we're having to no-clip through the fizzler. Uh, there was a note about that in the um, in the map description, Space Ken. Seriously, can you stop calling? Thank you. Um, all right, so this is what we had before, wasn't it? So let's. I'm going to save here because if I was to do this. Uh, did I not line that up properly? Huh, guess not. I mean, at the end, I think what all it comes down to is are, you know, whether or not you're comfortable in creating your own style if you're that creative, and if you are, then fair enough, but. Like I say, if you're following style guidelines, then it's it's a very daunting process. All right. So 
I have that and that, and I can walk back over to there. That's fine. So, the next question is... Is there a way in which I could... What do you think there is going to be? Is there a way that I could respawn the red cube? Is there a way? This is what we had before. I mean, we've got to use that other area at some point, but the whole problem here is I need to get myself just enough time here to be able to walk through that fizzler. The only way I envisage, envisage, envisage that happening is by... having the blue cube respawn, at which point the fizzler will open, I have time to walk through then it will land back on that button, and then I can go back round, pick up the cube, and go back through the portal. In effect. Then I can put the blue cube on the light bridge, I think. Oh, I can't actually... Ah... Come down here. Can I shoot the portals? I can shoot portals on here, though, can't I? No. Okay. So, what I was thinking is completely out of the question. Mm. Hey, Leo. What's going on? Okay, well, that's just playing this, like, way out of proportion. Well, not out of proportion, but... So... The question remains, what do we do? How do we get over there? Because... This is just a dead area, isn't it? There's nothing to do in here. Can't see that. Can't shoot there, so can't shoot anywhere else. That then questions whether or not what I've done here is progress. What we've done here progress. Where does... No, there's nothing here. I was going to say, where does that port surface opposite come out over here? I wonder if you could, like, do something whack here. In the words of Fumbly. Probably whack. Not that Fumbly is American at all, but yeah. Um... Whereby you could like respawn the cube on itself or just cause something different to happen. Uh, 
thank you for the CBD contribution, Space Kitten. Glad to see that everybody cares about my mental health and see me suffer. <laughs> so yeah, this is the this is the part of the fizzler that opens and that we can walk through here. Um, Crazy. Um, the, an entire one fifth of my mental breakdown to be will be down to you because you you pretty much donated a fifth of the points. So one fifth of my pending mental breakdown is all your fault. <laughs> I don't know what else I can do from here. Um, Pending mental breakdown. Just. Thought See, doing this is all good and it gets me the laser back, but then this kind of completely and utterly undoes all the progress I've done up to now. I'm only joking. I take it seriously. Um, yeah, I, I. Thanks, Leo. Must be pretty much there now, though, right? And you know, I should have put that goal higher. <laughs> it's hard. It was hard though for me to sort of judge what sort of what I should, what level I should have put things at, though. If I'm honest, never really done as it's my first sort of community challenge with points. I didn't know if there'd be enough people here to like meet it, which is I was gonna put it at a hundred. Um but I said I don't I didn't know if there'd be enough people around with enough uh points and stuff to warrant doing the challenge. So I kinda of wanted to make it fair, but maybe I made it too fair for you guys. In that um it was completely unbalanced for me. Alright, so this takes me back. Taking it back to the old school, because I'm an old fool. I'm so cool. What if these cues were the other way around? The reason I didn't want to do that before, however, was because the red cube will then stop me from going through to the other side, I think. I think that's the reason why. Yes. Because this is a conductive plate.
this will not allow me to do what I wanted it to do. Unless there is a subsequent way that I can spawn respawn blue in which I could cause both of these cubes to actually respawn themselves. I don't believe there is. Don't I miss flying turrets with GLaDOS? No. I would shoot my laser over here and my laser comes uh, yeah let's open that up Calm and composed. Hey, okay. that's not difficult, is it? Shoot that there. So, yeah, this, this is the problem here. Nowhere to respawn the cube from. Which is why we did this. I can't like leave this off. That shuts that. So that has to go to there. But yeah, like I said, but then this isn't gonna work because we do this. Respawns that cube there. It's all well and good you think until you see this bit here. And you have to walk through the fizzler to that. Why we had this set up is 
so we can get across to the other side. But we just don't have anything else to do from here with this configuration. So I'm I'm at a complete loss as to what happens next. Unless I could get the laser, the light bridge. Oh, I can't really do that though, can I? Honestly thought I'd like big brained it yesterday when I'd like worked out this maneuver. But yeah, I've not been able to move, like, make any progress in subsequent 35 minutes. So... Go on, Pingist. Hope you're well. just wonder is there any way to is there a way that I can respawn that all right is there a way that I can respawn the red cube first to respawn the red cube first I would do this across to there instead that to there But I would have to move Oh uh, yes it is crazy. Well, let's think about this. I don't necessarily need to do that. I could do this and this. From here we would need to go and set the lasers up again if we were in this position, right? So let's go do that quickly. So we make sure we're cheating in any way, shape or form. Laser. I would shoot that to there, and I would shoot it to let me back you though. That would open up this. Then I would shoot that. Back to there. Walk across to here. That 
that is pointing right down there, right? Uh, yes, we've been at this one for quite some time. This is something different that we have here instead. Now, the problem here would be Um, of course, because the laser's shooting this way, isn't it? I was like, why did that respawn? But Alright, so instead of doing that, then... Almost there. Ah, uh, this is going to be awkward. Just resetting things to wait, why is why is that active? Uh excuse me, that shouldn't be active. Um me. Oh, let's activate from that. Ugh, look, all, all I want to do is reset things here. Can you, like, break? Alright, um, things are going a little bit weird. I'm just trying to reset things. Just bear with me a moment. We had that facing that way, right? Go through here like this. Okay. Now... What I just did... We tried to put a portal over there, and that's what caused everything to respawn. But what if instead I did this? That's on the button. I should have done the button right here. Okay, so I walk across here. Place a portal there. Position that to there. Still in line with everything. Walk over to here. Uh, no, it's not gonna work. Actually. Would be here with the laser, right? Also, why is um I say like why is the laser so off center but it's like went straight from there, but it's not. Okay, so that would be there, that would be there. I would now be on this bridge here like this. So this fizzler would be open if it was working properly, so I could then shoot a portal to 
Oh, no, I couldn't. That would have to be off the button. I'm just... I'm in a complete mess now. I'm in a complete mess! Does anybody actually follow what, I've, what I'm trying to do here? I, I just got to, I've got to reload the save because I've just made so many, I've made so many moves. I just want to make sure I haven't cheated. Okay, so step one, this cube comes over here. We do not put this cube on the button. Step two, we go back across here. And we go to get this cube here. And that's going to be pointed in this direction. Right. No, we don't point this in this direction. We Because we don't want the cube to respawn. Okay. So we do that. Then we go back over to here. Portal on here. Through to here. Then I portal to... There. See, this is why I wanted to come back and check because clearly now I can see straight away I cheated. Because before I was here and I had a laser and a light bridge, and quite clearly. Oh, I know why I had the laser and the light bridge. Because that was on the button, and that. Yeah, no, that. that I wasn't cheated at all. The problem is, though, I can't have the laser and the light bridge because. Because, because, because. Uh, tell you what I could do, though. Uh, actually, I could. Alright. Let's pretend, because we like pretending in this room. We did this instead, yeah? And um, we was over here. Let's say we get the laser and the light bridge at the same time. We shoot here, which opens up this panel. Instead of going low, we actually go high. Like there. So that would have mean, meant I drop down here, though. Now, the fact that I overlooked that I can't now get through that portal or do anything there is a big whelp. Um, I'm not sure. The only thing I thought of, Meekle, for that was, um, I believe... The light bridge has got to hold the cube before we get to the exit. So I don't know if it's a reference to what the light bridge has got to do. Because uh, I'm pretty sure, like I've said already, the ending maneuver will be... Um, yeah, cube on here. We'll somehow get a cube through to here. Sat right here, for instance. We'll go through here. This will be open because the blue cube will be over there. So that will be the red cube on that button. This will be open because of that. And then we can simply stand here, do that, and wait for the cube to go through. And then put the cube on the button, and we are exit. We are exit. This won't work because it's a spawned in cube. That's the exit. Um, so for that exit to happen, I need to have the red cube in my hand. Just don't know what I can do from here. I 
If I hadn't messed around, I would be here. jump down here I have to lose the portal on the other side but I mean is that just a case of alright is it a case then that I do Get the laser back. Well, that there. then get the red cube to respawn itself maybe so to do that I would fire to there that would open this up put my portal on there catch is not working of course now I go across to here okay this is something Then, I take this cube. But, whilst that seems like progress, we have to be wary of the fact that we can't now We can't now. What? We can't now spawn blue cube, and that was the big differing factor here, wasn't it, from before? Okay, here's big brain for you. Here's some big brain for you. What if the red cube makes a compact to be able to spawn the blue cube? Respawn that, and I could have both cubes over here. So, the big brain there was going to be what if I use the red cube first, thing over to there, and then with the blue cube, and set that up to respawn the red cube. But have red cube here, blue cube, yeah, blue cube, yeah. Um, aiming over there to that catcher.
Here's what I'm missing here. I need a cube here. Is that what I'm missing? Get that portal now for a moment. Is this what I'm missing? So in order for this to work, though, I'm going to need it over here for a start. But don't think this is what I'm missing, because I'm not going to be able to get back, am I? Unless... I think, I don't know, maybe my problem at the minute is that I'm too stuck and too set and focused on this being the right thing to do. Maybe I missed the step to getting, maybe I'm missing another step getting here. But it does seem to fit the fact that I get a cube over there and get up on this right hand side. Bizzler turns off so I can walk through without losing a portal, keeping a portal on that other side. does seem to be like everything seems to align for that but what next what what do we do next So, that may be a burning question I leave the stream on today. If 
clearly missing something, but what am I missing? Good job I didn't ask you for hints then, Mike. <laughs> It's because of like the way the cubes are respawned, it's just like how do you get around that? Must be a way. I'm not seeing it at the moment, but hold on a moment. Yeah, the buttons only and trapping. I was wondering whether or not like I could get that across there, respawn the cube, but the the information clearly says that the button is for anti trapping, so it's not part of the solution. All right, well, um, yeah, fortunately, a bit of a stale one today. Um, haven't managed to make any form of progress at all, so I need to really seriously go back to the drawing board with this one and give it some hard thought in between streams. Um, so, yeah, hopefully tomorrow I will come back fresh and with some new ideas on how to solve this one. Well, yeah. What's well, sort of what you're saying, Mike? Just don't use any of the elements in the puzzle, and we'll just like forget it exists. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah, I'll have a think. I'll have to give it some thought. I'll come back to it tomorrow, and hopefully, we will have come up with some ideas and other scenarios. Maybe I need to just get out of looking at this setup here, and potentially we can um, come up with something else. But. Uh, Thanks everybody for tuning in. Appreciate it as always. We're going to throw a raid over to death. So um, if you want to stick around, that's great. If not, I will catch you next time. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. Have a great day and happy gaming.